Hey, what's up? I'm Mr. Hanish, and welcome to my flipped classroom. Today we talk about the five themes of geography, which is not just a list of five things for you to memorize. They're actually very important things that apply to literally every single thing we'll learn about the rest of the year. So you do need a strong grasp on them. To start things off, we'll preview the list and talk about what the five themes actually are. The five themes of geography are location, place, regions, movement, and human environment interactions, or HEI. Now, to help you remember these, I am opening a contest to see who can come up with the best mnemonic device for that list. What's a mnemonic device, you ask? Hmm, sounds like you have homework. Go look it up. For now, let's talk about each one of these five themes in detail, and we'll start with location. Location is a term you've probably heard before, and with good reason. Literally every single point on Earth has a location. The trick is to understand the two different types of location. Absolute location and relative location. Absolute location is very specific. An address is an example of an absolute location because there's only one location on Earth that is that specific address. 1237 East Inman Parkway, Beloit, Wisconsin is an absolute location. It's the only location that is named that in the world. In fact, Beloit, Wisconsin is also an absolute location because even though you can get more specific, like 1237 East Inman Parkway, Beloit, Wisconsin is still the only Beloit, Wisconsin in the world, so it's an absolute location. Relative location is a little bit different, though. Relative location has absolutely nothing to do with where your relatives are located. It's actually a general description of where a place is. You can relate the location to something else. Beloit is south of Canada. Powers Elementary is west of Turner Middle School. Relative location doesn't even need directions like north, south, east, or west. Saying you're inside a building or outside is a relative location. The second theme of geography is closely related to location, and it's the theme of place. But place is less about where an area is and more about the features that define an area or make it unique from other places. Landscape, climate, or people are examples of things that make a place a place. Think of it this way. Beloit, Wisconsin is a location. Beloit, Wisconsin is also a place. The area of land has long had the exact same location along the Rock River at 42.5 degrees north and 89 degrees west latitude and longitude, but over time it has changed as a place. For instance, before the Ice Age and glaciers came rolling through, the landscape was probably much different. When Black Hawk Native Americans were living in the location, it was a different place than it became after European settlers arrived. When downtown went under reconstruction recently, Beloit changed as a place yet again. It's always been in the same absolute location, but the place, the features, have changed over time. The third one is regions, and regions help us categorize and divide all the locations and places of the world, so it's easier to organize that way. Beloit, Wisconsin can be grouped with other locations and places that share similar characteristics with Beloit. For example, if we said that Beloit is in the Midwest United States region, we would be lumping it with other locations and places in areas like Minnesota, Michigan, Iowa, Indiana, and as much as I hate to admit it, Illinois. Sorry, just saying the word Illinois makes me want to puke. They belong to the same region because their landscape, climate, natural resources, and even the people are all similar. Beloit is not in the same region as Florida. And we have very different landscape and climate and natural resources and people as Florida does. 
Since locations, places, and regions can be so very different, and since technology has advanced so much in recent history, people have really opened up a new theme of geography, which is movement. People constantly move from location to location, and place to place, and region to region, and there are many reasons for that movement. So this theme of movement helps us explain and understand some of those reasons. Why are there so many old people in Florida? Were they always there? No, most of them came from places like the Midwest because they decided they want a warmer climate for the winter months of their life. The final of the five themes is the catch-all and the wild card. Time for the wild card. It's Human Environment Interaction, or HEI for short. This theme helps us examine how people, as Michael Scott would put it on the office, adapt, react, readapt, and act with the landscape, resources, and environment around them. Looking at the interaction between humans and the environment is important because it gives us perspective and helps us understand reasons why people do things they do. Why do lots of people live near rivers? Why would people have a reason to cut down forests? Why do some people barely wear any clothes and some people cover themselves from head to toe in furs? Humans are interacting with their environments in all sorts of ways that suit their individual needs and this helps us examine how and why that happens. The five themes of geography are incredibly important to keep in mind throughout the rest of the year because we will, as I said earlier, literally be applying them to every single thing you learn. Go study. Until next time, Bye-bye.